turning. We're going to do the classic uh, um, fire back. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So quickly go over it, Phil. Uh, everyone else has played the, the shit out of this game, but you need to listen to this one, okay? You played it a long time ago, but you may remember. Guys, uh, for this time, we're going to give the defending team the option of picking which way the attackers will go. But Ooh. essentially, it's pretty easy to decide, your mate. The attackers will either start on this side of the road, okay, or this side of the road, right? Okay. The Black Ops building is the start and end of and this over here, the spawn building is the start and end depending on which way we're going, alright guys? You gotta understand that, it's important, okay? So whatever which one we start at, obviously the other one is the end. So with force back fill, when we play on this field, what we've done is we're using the road to split the field up. So you may not cross the road. It is a giant river of lava. 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 That's good. All right. So if you find you're on the road, you walk onto the road, you're like, oh shit. Walk back to the edge of the road you came from and call hit. Okay. And then follow your spawn rules. We'll go over in a second. Okay. Right. So it's a giant river of lava. This part here, is, you can ignore that. Don't actually. I don't think it's gravel anyway. It might be a wee bit of gravel, but it's, ignore that. It's only the main road. At the very far end of the road, we used to mark it, we gave up because people were still, they didn't seem to pay attention, they just ran across the road randomly because they were retarded. Here is a yellow car. Okay, it might actually be a hatchback, but it's, it's yellow. Yeah. And you, some of you got super bright lights. It looks green on your super bright lights. Take your time. There's now actually a car on each side of the road. Is there? Yeah. They've moved the car from the far end. Okay, guys, since we don't exactly know quite what the other one is, we're going to use the yellow car. Behind the yellow car and straight across the road. I want everyone to watch my hand right now. It's important. Be as well, you guys. When you run behind the yellow car, you don't run behind the yellow car and all the way across to the saloon like that. You run straight across the road. Okay, guys? Right. If you're a big group, so you'll follow. Right? It's a thin area. Okay? Right. We play a game where once you pass the yellow car, you can go wherever you like. It did not count as lava. It didn't really work out as good as I'd hoped. Okay? So we're going back to the thin, easy way. We're not going to mark it. Single file, nice and simple. Any questions about how to get across the river of lava? Cool. So regardless of which way we go, the team attacking has to go across the that way there, across the river of lava. That's the bridge. Okay. Nice and simple. Right. Moving on. The attacking team will be using a medic roll. We'll go over that in a second. And the defending team are using fall back and spawn rules, okay? There's not many of here, so we're going to do about 20 to 25 metre fall back. Remember, if you end up being a defender, you've got a decision when you fall back and decide to come alive. You can hide and not call alive. You may not then engage the fight you previously came from, okay? You need to wait for them to come to you. Or you can call alive and then return fire back to where you came from, okay, guys? That's important. They give you the option of hiding if you want. Okay? But you can't fire back into the fight you came from unless you call a life nice and loud. Any questions about that? Nice and simple. Awesome. So yeah, that's your judgment. Now, the only complicated part about calling back and coming alive if you are a defender is that when you get to the edge of the field over here, guys, you're falling back this way. If you happen to be going this way first, you're falling back, you die, you fall back, you die, you fall back. When you die and you would have fallen back past the back fence here, you then have to stop, walk over here, cross the river and fall back. Okay? Cross the river first and then pull back. Right. Not 25 metres from here along the edge, but you need to stop, walk over the river and pull back. If it happens that you fall back and you end up behind the uh, attacking team, too bad for the attacking team. Not, your, not their problem, not your problem. Right? You follow the rules, right? Nice and simple. Um, also, don't forget as a defender, you can still move laterally across the field, but that is not, that is, uh, maybe the word perpendicular. Okay? It's across the field like this. It has nothing to do with the, with the river of magma that is on an angle, okay? So once you fall across behind the river, you'll fall back this way, each time you die, and it's back that way. And you can still move laterally across the field from your own individual position. Any questions about how defenders come back alive and how they work? Sweet. <laughs> okay, attackers, we're going to go over the spawn rules now. Phil, come over here. Okay, these are called compound medic rules. Just promote teamwork, fall, fill, fall, hit. Hip. I'm a team member, I'm alive, I can come and go. Keep the hands up, make your hit. Okay? Before I start my medicine, I can decide to move them. It has to be both hands on shoulders, I'm not allowed to fire my gun. Not not one hand on this pinky thing here, this bullshit. Hands on shoulders. If I order to lie down or prick nail, I can ask and do so, but please don't push people around. So, um, you can stand there while I medic you. One person takes one minute to bring back a teammate alive. 
A sicker person, however, someone's up for a drink. Immediately drops the time to 30. Okay, if you're already below 30, that doesn't matter really, but immediately drops the time to 30, you are really sweet. The, um, uh, the, so a third person jack immediately drops it to 15, so it's half each time, okay? So we've gone from 1 minute to 30 to 15. You can't go any further, alright, and it's 15 seconds. Now, before we go any further, on the last 10 seconds of your medicine, the person, the first person who started it always counts, and they let them know they have 10 seconds left. Alive in 10, buddy. He gets to call alive in 10. Alive in 10. And then he gets to fall back. So, if three people uh, medicating a teammate, they only have to hold him for how long? Five, five seconds. Excellent, five seconds. That's really good. If you, you, you know, it's the only way to really win this, okay? You've got to be Johnny on the spot with your team and medicine. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, John. <laughs> okay, are there any questions about how the Americans come back alive? Alright, it should be. Should be. Alright, you should be asking, what happens if I die and get stuck forever? Okay, bleed out time. Five. So, if you get stuck, you're going to wait for five minutes. If after five minutes no one heals you, you may return, you move, you may move to a, a live, friendly player, and they may attempt to heal you. If perhaps they die, you can move to another one. You don't have to wait another five minutes, okay guys? And you must continue to attempt that uh, until you come back alive. Or perhaps the game ends or your team is wiped out, okay? If the team is wiped out, the team leader will call reset, okay? Reset. He can do that any time he wants, and he goes back to the start position, okay? So he loses distance, okay? Right. If the reset's called, defenders, you don't move forward or anything like that. Okay. The team leader needs to do a head count at the start of the game, and once everybody's in the final building, which is either the black box building or the small building here, when they're in the final building, the team leader has a head count, and once everyone's there alive, he can call game. Joe will be the official timer of the game, and he will be timing the game for one hour. Awesome. Are there any